Welcome to Mastering Mel for Maya, a free companion to my popular Python for Maya course linked in the video description below. In our final video lecture in this series, we'll quickly go over how to use Python and Mel together. Often, you need to combine the two to get a desired result in Maya. To use Python from Mel, you can use the Python function in Mel. So you write Python, and in parentheses, you tell it what to run. So you have to give double quotes because it runs a string, and we'll say, and we'll tell Python to print the min of 1 and 10, just to show that we are actually running Python. If I now run this, you can see that it gives us back 1, and if I was to change the 1 in here to 23, it would give us back 10. Basically what Mel is doing is taking the string and telling Python to run it. If you need to use strings inside of this, you can use the single quotation mark. So I can say print hello world. This is Python. And I'll run it. If you were to use double quotes, it would exit the double quotes on the Mel side. So it's much easier to use single quotes or you'd have to escape the double quotes. If you want to call Mel from Python, you need to import the Mel library. So we say import Maya.mel. And to run the Mel, we say Maya.mel.eval. And again, we give it a string to run. So over here, I can say polycube. And I'm going to say dash D. 20. If I now run this, you can see that it's created the polycube with a depth of 20. For both languages, Maya will try and convert the values to something either language can understand. So for example, in Mel, if I was to say int pyvar is equal to python, and I'll tell it to say 42 minus 21. If I was to now print out pi var, it would convert the Python value into a mel integer and vice versa. This makes it really easy to call Python from mel and call mel from Python. If you're interested in learning more about programming inside of Maya, Check out my popular Python for Maya course, which is linked in the video description below.